three, two, one, and lift off. Starliner is headed back to space on the shoulders of Atlas, powered by a workforce dedicated to its success. Confirmation of a good MET epic timer on Starliner. Now let's execute its roll program. Uh, Already ready is now throttling down to maintain the crew and heads up position if we had crew on board today. This is the first plan throttle down for Atlas in preparation for Max Q. Max Q, maximum enemy pressure looking. Now, atmospheric forces are the highest Starliner Atlas will face during the uphill climb. Mach 1, Atlas 5 and Starliner are now supersonic. Fecal now throttling up. Up, ne up next in about 20 seconds, Starliner's two solid rocket boosters will run out of fuel and burn out. And we have burnout on both SRBs. Good crew module forward link connection. Already ready is throttling back up to full thrust. Now that we pass the solid rocket booster burnout, you'll soon see those two solid rocket boosters separate from the vehicle. Atlas V now weighs just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of 2,800 pounds per second. And we have indication of SRB jettison. Atlas continues to ascend using solely the RD-180 engine. That's about 850,000 pounds of thrust at sea level. Already ready is throttling down slightly as expected. Engine response looks good. Teams here on the ground confirming Starliner has a good trajectory. We're now two minutes and 55 seconds into today's flight. Flying at an altitude of 56 kilometers. Our next throttle down will be to control acceleration forces, uh, limit forces on the crew to bel below 4 Gs. That is safe for an extended period of time. One minute remaining in this burn. One minute to Biko. Already is now throttling to maintain 3.5 G acceleration on the vehicle. Starliner flying off the uh, east coast at this point at an uh, altitude of 80 kilometers now, moving at a rate of 1,187 miles per hour. It's just passing North Carolina and Virginia off the northeastern seaboard. For those of you watching along the coastline, you might be able to see this launch. We have Pico booster engine cutoff. We have successful sta success staging. Pre-start on the RL tens. We have ignition on both RL tens.
Centaur has now gone to closed loop steering. Just passed through several milestones. Teams here on the teams here on the ground reporting that all are looking good. Ascent cover jettison there that provided that and aerodynamic air structure jettison. to the top of Starliner, protected the docking equipment during ascent. Now that Starliner and Centaur are free of the atmosphere, well into the vacuum of space, that aeroskirt has been jettisoned. Now six minutes into today's launch, Starliner continuing to accelerate up the North American coast. Everything going smoothly so far. Starliner and Centaur have been ticking through their asset milestones right on track, including the booster stage separation, Centaur ignition, and aeroskirt jettison. A number of status calls we'll be listening for in the next several minutes, but if all continues to go well, the next major milestone to watch out for is the main engine cutoff when Starliner will be officially in space. We heard a report from uh, ULA's team. We had a, a little bit of an overperformance on the booster, but the, that's a good Five thing. Centaur is more than capable of adjusting on the fly in its closed loop performance. Centaur pressures are stable. Centaur looks good. Flight control teams are also monitoring the performance of the sublimator on Starliner right now. The sublimator is what is used to control cabin temperatures going up to space and coming home. Normally we use uh, the radiators on the service module, but uh, those are not powered up until we get into orbit. We heard confirmation that St. John's abort zone is open. We pre-select these uh, splashdown zones in the case of any needed aborts. Um, the first one would be the Saint off the coast of St. John's, Nova Scotia. We just heard the flight dynamics officer report everything is pretty good. Flight controllers here in Mission Control confirming that our main engine, main engine cutoff time is looking stable. It is going to be 11 minutes and 50 seconds into the flight. We are now 8 minutes and 50 seconds in, so that's uh, still about 3 minutes to go until we hit that milestone.